in a mc engine main engine stops because of a puncture valve but how does a puncture valve work what it actually does that it punctures or it stops the injection to be very honest when i was on ship different second engineers when i was a fourth engineer third engineer gave me different answers even when become i became a second engineer it was i was lucky that i got to work with a, a workshop engineer who gave me the right answer i made those notes i was I, we are blessed that we have got chief engineer orvin singh sir today he was very knowledgeable he was, the, he was giving the right guidance so please watch this video and learn it will really help you hey guys welcome back in this module we are going to discuss about puncture valve when we talk about with respect to mc and me so a lot of time people ask so where is the puncture valve in me engine and how does it work so let's try to answer that question here so first of all we need to understand what exactly is a puncture valve and what is it doing in mc engine so here what you see is the fuel pump of an mc engine you can pause the video and try to figure out yourself first and then we'll begin all right okay so this is the top section of the fuel pump somewhere down here we have a suction valve where oil will be going through the suction valve into the barrel and also it can come from the from the spill port but when it is trapped this oil is trapped during the upward stroke of the uh, plunger this oil will be delivered and will be delivered into two fuel high pressure pipes so this is one and that is another one they have not shown but yes there are two fuel injectors so two fuel pipes both that connected here itself in this design and the fuel will go like go injection towards the injection pump and go pump and go why it is not able to go that side so first of all this is the puncture valve that we talk about in the mc engine and here there is a poppet valve so here there is a piston and here is a poppet valve like this and this is sitting on to this there is a valve seat okay so i'm trying to draw this valve seat here now can any oil go past this no because this is closed and the oil pressure is keeping it closed only means if the oil pressure wants to go that side no it can't because the oil pressure is helping it close itself okay but if any air signal comes in 7 bar safety air comes in from here and let's say the injection is not happening that time which of course most of the time injection is not happening we know that so if this is tdc this is bdc injection is happening around this zone no so that means most of the time the injection is not happening that time the pressure here is normal pressure 8 bar so at that time if this 7 bar air comes in that is we recall that safety air and when when does the that come of course that we'll see that later but that safety air that comes in it will push it down against the spring there is a spring here down below normal simple spring and it is opening this up and keeping it open at that time this pressure here if it is it is trying to build the pressure here when the it is plunger is moving up that time it is already open so oil will go in this passage and will go back to the suction side inlet suction side inlet side that means in they will remain in the pump itself there is a suction valve and it goes to the inlet side of that so it's pretty easy you you give on the top you give safety air and then it will it will remain keep it open till the time this air is on you cannot make an injection because 
whatever whenever whatever oil uh, the my plunger is pumping up the same oil goes back same oil I'll, I'll always go back this this place this oil will not go because to to for the oil for to go here you must overcome the uh, fuel injector pressure setting that may be let's say 350 bar or 360 370 bar like that so that pressure till you achieve you cannot send the oil to the injector so there is no oil going to the injector means no fuel injection simple okay so that's the working of the puncture valve now this is uh, when do we need uh, by the way uh, to activate the puncture valve first thing that i've told you is this because there's a safety here that is giving triggering this action safety air 7 bar safety air is coming and this doing this and when does the safety air comes in if there is any trip activation shutdown activation that can happen whenever there is a shift trip maybe over speed trip maybe uh, thrust bearing high temperature maybe low oil low low pressure right in all those cases there, there can be uh, a safety air uh, come into picture or somebody has pressed the man uh, shut down manually uh, emergency shut down manually so in those cases apart from this gentlemen safe apart from safety or shutdown safety shutdown which all other places times this puncture valve will get activated now some people uh, will get confused when i say this whenever you give any stop signal that time also it is activated so any stop signal given normally from fuel and fuel handle you bring the fuel handle to zero that time also this air will come and the third one again this is really interesting whenever you start the engine when you give the kick that time also this will activate now you'll you'll be amazed but that time we want to give the fuel then why would we want to have, have this punctured uh, so before fuel we do not want uh, before fuel we give air right and when the air is going into the cylinder we don't want fuel so there has to be some kind of safety interlock so this is what when we give a start signal for first few seconds puncture valve will remain active so puncture valve will remain active in what all cases during starting during stopping every time you give a stop signal and of course there's if there is a trip at all those times the puncture valve will remain active and you can see the same thing this maneuvering diagram we have we have already discussed somewhere else uh, in some other video and if i show you what we just discussed where is my fuel pump uh, yeah this is my fuel pump mm, yes here is the fuel pump okay now here is the puncture valve on the top there must be a puncture valve somewhere here okay going to the fuel going to the injector now i want to activate this puncture valve so i need air 7 bar where is the air, air? yes this is the air which all places it is coming from it is coming from this side and it is coming from this side so this side it is basically this is called safety here and this there is a valve 127 here in mc engine i'm talking about this is an mc engine valve 127 whenever it gets signal electrical signal from trip device signal okay trip then this valve will open and this seven bar safety air will go and will puncture it but that doesn't mean air cannot come from somewhere else see this is the also a line where the air is coming from and you can see this air if you trace it back it is coming from start signal stop signal both signal this air is coming from so this is how we activate the puncture valve all right let's now come to me engine how do we cut off the fuel so gentlemen first of all we need to understand how the fuel is going this we have already discussed but, but once again ccu we have got ccu signal going to the fiva valve pilot valve this is the fiva and this is the pilot valve of the fiva ccu will give signal to this and then only it will allow the lube oil to go and make an injection every time this will move and one injection will happen so how easy it to is to stop the fuel injection tells fiva not to do it so fiva will fiva is a computer if it wants to stop the fuel we don't need any mechanical arrangement you simply tell fiva not to not to give next time not to give command to fiva you tell ccu 
okay next time it will not give the command simple so we don't need a puncture valve here so we used puncture valve in mc engine because stopping the engine using governor is a again it's a delayed process plus it is not 100% like always will be working but puncture valve usually will always 100% it will work so it's like a positive arrangement to okay do it positively but here we are making an effort to make an injection let's not make that effort means let's not give a signal it will not make an injection it is automatically a punctured arrangement means no fuel is going normally so that's so easy now so all in all we do not have any puncture valve or we don't need any puncture valve for m engine right so that's all about the arrangement here gentlemen see you in the next video